Welcome back. The opening bell on Wall Street is just moments away. But first, let's check a few movers on the Yahoo Finance platform. Top ticker on the uh, platform all morning long, Julie, it is DocuSign. And a rare move higher in this stock on an earnings day. It feels as though the past three quarters, all we have talked about in DocuSign is just horrific market responses as growth has slowed post-pandemic. But here you're getting a positive reception on DocuSign. You still sense the, the skepticism on Wall Street regarding the near-term outlook for this company. Uh, but again, the company, at least they beat on earnings, seeing some uh, stabilization in billings. The street is highlighting that. So the stock getting embraced for a change here on earnings day, still looking for a CEO. That CEO search continues. Yes, exactly. After Dan Springer yes. stepped down as the CEO and they've got an interim CEO, but nobody permanent has been um, has been appointed to that post yet. To get a little bit more specific on the numbers here, billings, as you mentioned, is what people focus on with these types of uh, software companies. And um, billings there are going to be $2.55 billion to $2.57 billion for the year. That is an increase over the prior forecast. And to your point, people talking about, I keep seeing the word stabilize everywhere. when yeah. we. It, and it's not necessarily it's even that things are getting better, right? It's just maybe that they've stopped getting worse for now. It seems it feels a little like people are not willing to say things are, you know, that they've turned a corner, but that maybe they're getting to a point where they're going to turn yeah. a corner. Yeah, at some point, things just can't get any worse. I do want to highlight this fun fact, and it, it definitely blew my mind. Maggie Wilderotter, she's the interim CEO of DocuSign, noting right out of the bat on the earnings call this, quote, I've had the privilege to serve on 51 corporate boards in wow. my career, 36 public, and 15 private starting at age 28 when I first joined a corporate board. Uh, that, that's a lot of boards. So I look- what the record is for that, that kind that of thing. Might be, that sure might be close, but, but look, I think you have an experienced executive at least leading the search process for a DocuSign and also leading the company right now. I, I need to tell you, you're not going on 51 corporate boards if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> One. Well, uh, <laughs> well, well, in I mean, this case, I think she does. I think Maggie knows what you she's know, doing. You know, I don't know anything about Maggie herself, but there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of overboarding. There's, there's, there's of people who just go there collect checks on sure. governance sure. on public boards. So sure. just because someone's on a board, I don't 51. think oh, you can assume. That's a lot of. But boards. she certainly, when you're talking about doing a CEO search, she mm -hmm. certainly knows a lot of mm -hmm. people. Yes. If she has been on 51 absolutely, boards. and note this too, from that board perspective, looks like she's clamping down on expenses. That was some concern about DocuSign that they just spent too much mm -hmm. under uh, Dan Springer over the past year and a half. Sounds like she's clamping down, looking for ways to save money. What she needs to be focusing on is getting some new salespeople in there because that has been a problem. Yes, and the way that they were doing sales, yes. as, as uh, Dan had acknowledged to us in the past.